Another case of a fine wine bandit at a South Florida market. We told you about this yesterday, about a suspect stealing pricey wines at a market in Miami. And now we're learning another man hit the Coconut Grove and Pinecrest locations all on the same day. And wait until you hear where he hides the wine. Local 10's Roshlo is live in Coconut Grove with the video that you will only see on Local 10. You know something? This is not easy to do, to take a wine bottle and stick it down your pants. Now imagine having three of those wine bottles down your pants. Milam's Market dealing with another menace. Wait a minute. Let's see that again. What's that in his pants? What goes through your mind when he pulls the bottles out of his pants? A lot of laws, money, and it's just crazy, unbelievable. Expensive wine bottles? They're gonna put that shit right back on the shelf. Y'all better disinfect that shit, take it to the bag or some shit. I know, that was out of his bottles. They're gonna put that shit on the shelf. They, I promise you they're gonna put that shit right back on the shelf. Three bottles? And wait until you hear how this wine grab went down. Milam's market ownership says this guy so wanted when you when you white and you steal one a, a black person would have to come in there with a duffel bag and steal like fucking 40 bottles of wine for the news. <laughs> and then it would have been like a 20 second story. They just showed him running out and shit. This white guy, this is a small time crime. He put three bottles of wine in his pants. This ain't worthy of no this fucking It's not even worth the news. Like when no weapons involved, nobody got hurt. They just want to make you white people look bad. This is a two minute and 40 second segment on a guy that white guy that put three bottles of wine down his pants. Two minutes and 46 seconds. Wait until you hear how this wine grab went down. Milam's market ownership says this guy went into the Coconut Grove location five times in one day, back to back, stuffing wine down his pants. And then on his last attempt, he is caught by store employees. Send me that MIT grad. Email that to me, Gigi Ryder, the MIT grad that got killed pumping grass, man. Please send that to me, man. Um, he says, um, our Instagram folks were correct about Antifa anarchist <laughs> helping the Marcus allies by smashing windows. Yeah, they were right about that, but that's all, even that, even that was done with like sons right next to them. Like it wasn't like they came in the middle of the night in black neighborhoods and was smashing shit. They was marching down the street with black people and they was doing that shit. And the white people was doing the shit too. In the midst of a bunch of white black people. Um, I I, I like the look on this white guy's face when he get caught. He like, oh my God, my privilege has ran out. He is caught by store employees. And look at him offloading the pricey wine if they was if he was black they would have beat his ass and dragged him to the back and the cops would have came to shot him. it hurts the store it hurts the public because we're out of the products that they want just thursday we spoke with one of the owners of milam's chad milam he was telling us about a different fine wine heist at a miami See, look, milam's why they had After to bring the black to bring us in it man that's fucked up man Milam. He was telling us about a different fine wine heist at a yeah, Miami that's Milam. Racist. After this story aired, ownership alerted about this guy. And there's more to the story. After he is busted in Coconut Grove, he doesn't call it a day. He heads to the Pinecrest Milam's the same day. And it's back to stuffing wine down his pants. Look at him here, turning his back to the camera and doing his business. How he walks around with all that wine in his pants, no one knows. How do you even walk around like that? I don't know. It must be really uncomfortable, that's for sure. But what they do know, on this day alone, ownership says this guy got away with more than $1,000 worth of fine wine. All down his pants. Then, hold on. What? Because he kept going back and forth. He went there five times. Oh, he did? That's what they said? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So take a look at these two guys. See, look, they got a close-up picture of the black guy, then they got the white guy far away. It's fucked up, man. Racist. Milam's would love to catch them. Okay, so we have a variety of cases that Milam's is dealing with. <laughs> variety. <laughs> he looked like he's he looked like he stole himself a couple of wines himself. 
Yeah, the, the first yeah, this is this is listen. Who says black people and white people don't can't can't find common ground? <laughs> Two guys, Milam's would love to catch them. Okay, so we have a variety of cases that Milam's is dealing with. Clear video of both suspects. If you know who they are, pick up the phone and call Crime Stoppers. That number is 305-471-TIPS. And I want to oh, mention... Man- guy going to get turned in way before that black guy. It's going to be like 100 tips for this guy. This mm-hmm. One tip for this dude. Are they going to snitch on him? Eh, the white guy going to keep more sentences longer than the black man. The black man charged is going to get you out. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, you know, you know, you know. Something else here. This is a family-owned business, and these are expensive bottles of wine. Thousands and thousands of dollars worth of wine has been taken, and they want these people caught. In Coconut Grove, I'm Rosh Lowe. They're going to help the black man, and then they're going to make sure the white man go to jail. 